Morning folks, it's a new day and we're going to test drive the, uh, the Copart project car again and I'm also going to pull my wife's car in and do an oil change so had to do some car swapping here. Um, anyhow, as you can see, this was what was under the car all last night and I've got two little drops and though that's engine oil and that's not transmission fluid so nothing's leaking out of the transmission which is a good sign because um, like I said this you look at that stain on that car piece of cardboard that cardboard is what was under the car yesterday and that's uh most of that stain is um the transmission fluid that leaked so that shame on me that should have been my first clue i should have looked and i didn't and i paid for it so today we are going to test drive this again up and down the street not going to go very far um and then we're going to launch in on the uh the rear bearings okay here we go test drive part two back on down the driveway oh I'm going to look forward to get rid of that getting rid of that sound there's the wife's Impala warming up for its oil change Notice how that we only get that sound out of that bearing or that brake in reverse. It doesn't make any noise going forward, which is that's interesting. Ice is atrocious, man. Alright, this is where we lost it yesterday. See my oil spot right there? I think that's going to be about it. <laughs> that's, that's all I have the balls for today. Um, simply because I want to get the rest of this stuff done today. I don't want to be towing cars. Okay, here we go. Car's in the garage. It's warmed up a bit. Um, we're going to start on the driver's rear. Um, getting this thing taken care of back here so i'm gonna just i'm gonna set the camera on a tripod and uh record it hope it comes out i hope you can see um hope this doesn't give me too much of a fit <laughs> and have to edit too much anyhow uh hang in there and um well let's get this done Okay, we're going to take the tire and wheel off. It's a 13 16 uh, socket for these lug nuts. Um, some of the original equipment lug nuts uh, are 19 millimeter. These are uh, aftermarket ones from AutoZone. Had to replace all 20 lug nuts on the because they were a mixed match and a hodgepodge of the goofy ones. So went ahead and invested. It was uh, pretty 
well, like 40 bucks in, uh, in, new, in new lug nuts. So, But all four tires have brand new lugs, and um, that'll be good. So, anyhow, you can see the uh, control arms that we did before and the trailing arm. Um, the challenge is going to be we're going to remove the brake caliper, get this brake uh, rotor off, and then there's four bolts behind that that um, hold the bearing hub to the steering knuckle or to the knuckle. And then uh, it's just a matter of once you get those four bolts out, they're 10 millimeter bolts, um, once you get those out of just getting the, the hub out of the knuckle. And uh, usually it requires a, a sledgehammer. And I have no doubt that uh, that's what we're going to have to do today. So anyhow, let's continue on. All right, well, that actually didn't take long. It was really long enough for me to go over and grab a big hammer and kind of tap on it. I came over and gave it a couple taps in it. at least starting to wiggle a little bit. There we go. Yay. All right, look at all that rust on the e-brake. Look at all that rust, period. So, you can see there's holes in this uh, bearing, and you use, there's four bolts back here holding it on. You use this, you just twirl it to, um, get it to where Actually, I know I bet you I know what's howling. It isn't the bearing Listen to that It uh, It was the e-brake It was just rubbing on the e-brake Huh I'm Wondering if it's really even worth replacing these bearings There's no play in this at all. And these are tight. I'm gonna go check the other side for play. You know, the other side doesn't have any bearing play in it either. Um, and we didn't have any bearing noise when I was driving it, just that roof, roof, roof. And knowing, knowing now, that's that was the e-brake rubbing. That was the e-brake shoes rubbing, and I can, I can take care of that. I think I'm gonna leave these bearings alone. To be quite honest with you, it might just be more trouble than it's worth. You can see the amount of rust on that dust shield. We'll uh, clean the rust up a little bit with the wire brush. Um, we'll clean and lubricate the uh, brake pads. We're not gonna lubricate the pads, we're gonna lubricate the hardware that the pads attach to. And I think we're gonna button this back up and call it good. Um, to be quite honest with you, I, I don't wanna do work just for the sake of doing work. Um, we're gonna do work that needs to be done. And this doesn't need to be done. I can always use those rear bearings on something else. Um, I'm sure there'll be an Apala come along that will need rear bearings. So nothing, uh, nothing really lost there. And that's really good news. Now we just gotta, we gotta figure, fix the howling, the or the chirping. Or the... All right, folks. Just a little continuation here. I cleaned this this rotor up. Um, especially all the rust on the inside, uh, basically the, uh, the e-brake drum. Uh, there was a lot of, a lot of rust in there. Um, and just listen to the difference. Hear that? None of that. I mean, it spins freely. The bearing spins freely. Everything looks good. The only little, little noises in there 
for me not being able to hold it perfectly, you know, tight while it's rotating. But when you do hold it like tight up there, it just, we're good. Okay, here's one thing I wanted to show you. <clears throat> in case you were wondering the quality of the bearings and the condition of the bearings back here, watch this. Pretty cool. They're smooth, they're not squeaking. There's a little bit of drag from the brake pads on the brake rotor, but that, um, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. Okay, third time's a charm, right? So let it warm up here just a minute. Put it back in park. And yeah, we're standing still in park. Good sign, didn't do it yesterday. It's dirt all over my head. So um, yeah, that was the good news is the rear bearings were actually in really good shape. And so they didn't need to be done. Uh, the brake rusty and, and really in need of not so much a replacement but a servicing um, cleared the rust off of it uh, relube the pins um, you know cleared the rust off the caliper brackets um, the pad hardware cleaned those up lubricated those you know just got them got them serviced so where they're gonna slide and and apply easily um, the pistons moved really well in the calipers so I don't think there's there's any problem with the calipers um, the minute I, I cleaned up both um, inner drums for the emergency brake because they were just caked with rust and they were may really making the rear drag um, and make that awful howling sound uh, now they just they both spin freely um, and quietly and, and like I said the, the bearings seem to be in really good shape it was uh, the e-brake that was causing all the trouble. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna turn this around and let's try it one more time. All right, here we go. You hear that? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. You don't hear that. You don't hear the um, which is good. That's really good. Traverse the ice field here. Oh yeah, there's just absolutely no traction here. None. I don't know that I'm even really steering as much as I am guiding and aiming for that dry patch of pavement right there so I can actually turn. Not only do I think that I, I don't have tread on the tires, I think the tires are hard tires too, so that doesn't, they're certainly not sticky and soft. It certainly doesn't help. So. Yeah, there, there was just absolutely no steering or traction on that patch of ice. whether it's the alignment or what it is but whenever it just hits a patch of ice it just like veers and um it's 
probably because of the, the towing and stuff like that, it just wants to shoot off in a new direction. So I think once we get this aligned and get some tires on it, I think we'll be all right. Like right here, even I'm hitting bumps and it's fine. Gotta get out on a little dry road here. This is driving me nuts. power steering pump noise which I have a feeling I'm gonna end up putting a power steering pump on this thing and muffler I already knew about the muffler muffler has a hole in it so I think mechanically those are about the only two things that are are gonna be left to be done that and uh, kind of cleaning up the engine bay I had an interesting thing I you know of course had the rear end jacked up and um, I looked under the car after I let the the uh, car back down and, and there was a puddle of old oil on the garage floor and I knew it didn't come from the engine block um, because the oil in the engine block is like clear it's brand new I just changed it yesterday this was definitely old oil I, you could tell and um, I was wondering where it came from and best I could figure it was up in the uh, subframe up front trapped in a little compartment somewhere and then when I uh, tilted the car forward it all ran out so um, we're gonna have to get all that stuff cleaned out and because uh, who knows how long that had been in there all right here we go again well that was a bit of good news with the bearings not needing to be replaced uh, saved me a lot of work a lot of time and a little bit of money um, the test drive uh, went very well uh, there's still a few things we need to do on the car um, the power steering pump has been whining uh, it tends to do it more when the car is cold by the end of the the test drive yesterday it actually kind of had gone away um, did a little bit of research on uh, the Impala forums.com and uh, they're suggesting that it's probably air in the system and that system needs to be vacuum bled. You, you have to uh, attach a vacuum pump to the uh, pump reservoir and um, pump basically pump the air out of it and bleed it that way. Um, we'll try that first because it's, it's fairly cheap and uh, then if that doesn't work, we'll look into uh, replacing the pump. Uh, that, the muffler, the tires, and the alignment, and mechanically this thing is done and we'll work on the beautification of it next. 
So hang in there. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the uh, like button if you liked what you see. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're so inclined. Uh, I appreciate all the subscribers and the comments and, and people following along. Um, if you are subscribed, hit the notification bell down there and um, uh, you'll get updated every time I upload something. We're going to try and keep this project going and get it finished so I can move on to other things. Uh, but I really appreciate everybody uh, following along and, and being patient. Um, I know this isn't sometimes the most exciting uh, thing in the world. and We're not Goon Squad rebuilding ZL ones. But um, we're getting this thing back on the road. It was a total uh, car from an insurance auction, and now uh, it's drivable on the road. And uh, we're going we're gonna to make it a nice car for somebody. So hang in there. We'll get it all finished. And I uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride. Peace.